220 pounds. He is the son of a son of a plumber. He is the star that left them in the dust. We are going to When Limitless Wrestling began over a year and a half ago, I do not think that the fans of not just the promotion, but of main wrestling ever thought that they would see a match of this magnitude. And tonight, Limitless Wrestling brings you the savior, JT Dunn versus the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Yeah, I mean, pretty incredible for a promotion not even two years old to reach a milestone like they have here tonight. Obviously, a lot of the credit goes to Randy Carver, all the hard work he puts in. A lot of it goes to the crew, the wrestlers. Ah. But you gotta think a, a, a large reason why there's more people at this Limitless Wrestling show than any other show previously is because Cody Rhodes is on the bill, so. Absolutely. He's gonna live up to, uh, to the hype. He's gonna live up to the hype. He's gotta live up to the hype, but wait a minute though. JT Dunn has spent the last few years of his wrestling career living up to that hype and proving people wrong. The win-loss record stands as follows. Cody Rhodes won, JT Dunn nothing. However, this is more JT Dunn's home turf than Cody Rhodes. Tonight could be a nightmare for Cody Rhodes. You think the fans are going to side with JT? You think they're going to stay split? You think they're going to favor Cody? I think that we're going to have to wait and see. You saw it earlier. We heard it. Both these guys, as the duration of this match goes on, I am sure favorites will be picked. I am in for just a tremendous matchup tonight, DC. You know, I can't, uh, can't speak of the matchmaking process for Limitless Wrestling in their management, but I do think that it's very telling that Cody Rhodes, since he's uh, found his way to independent wrestling, within the past six months. There's not too many wrestlers that he shared the ring with more than once. And this is a second time meeting between him and JT Dunn. And I do think that that's very telling. What it is telling of, perhaps, uh, you know, I'll, I'll leave that to the fans to draw their own conclusions. But, but there seems to be some unfinished business between Cody and JT Dunn. <laughs> look, look at that disaster kick, doesn't get it. And being a second time meeting, these two have each other scouted better than just watching tapes and doing their homework. They know each other's timing. They know what it's like to be in the ring with one another. Perhaps they even know each other's instincts at this point. You talked about it earlier. You want to talk about that transition to independent wrestling. Cody Rhodes has made a seemingly seamless transition. He has fit the bill. He has fit right in since day one, taking on all of those comers. But you make a valid point. He has only wrestled so many of those people twice. JT Dunn is one of these people. And JT Dunn has been proving people wrong for years now. Proving himself in places like Beyond Wrestling. Making it to Pro Wrestling Gorilla. Under the tutelage of Chris Hero. Chris Hero didn't just take a liking to JT Dunn. He made a partnership out of it. But Cody Rhodes there with a tremendous counter. Oh, wait a minute, take your page out of the Bob Holly book, his former partner. That's Dunga. Cody now. Ever careful. And that's gonna cost him. JT down with the ring presence to hang up Cody Rhodes. What's JT gonna be able to do to capitalize? Catches him right, that was across the neck. That wasn't even the face, that was the neck. JT Dunn catch, takes a seat on the fans' lap. JT Dunn looking strong here in the early go. I fully 
anticipate this one's going to go the distance, though. Absolutely. Foregoing the uh, the feeling out process, so to speak, again, because these two have wrestled somewhat recently within the past two months, if not sooner than that. Absolutely. Cody Rose now, though, could be going up for that. Took him that suplex from the second rope. JT Dunn for the top. No, 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 no. Oh, and he's holding him. That takes an unbelievable amount of strength and coordination to hold close to 200 pounds in JT Dunn. For a full in that position while seconds. balancing on those ropes. Cody Rhodes, I mean, dude, nobody's going to say that Cody Rhodes isn't an unbelievable athlete. Absolutely. Quite the talent. I mean, you take one look at the guy, you already know. We talked about Tessa Blanchard earlier. Talk about the pedigree. Son of Dusty Rhodes, brother to Gold Dust. It runs in the family, DC. I mean, dude, 220 pounds, somebody as tall as Cody Rhodes to have the agility to be so nimble that he can walk the ropes like that. Come colliding down on JT Dunn, laying on his feet. And gonna be looking to continue those high flying antics with perhaps a springboard. Caught Beautiful it that time. Drop kick. And that time, enough impact to turn JT Dunn inside out. JT Dunn taking a powder. He needs some air at this point. That strong start from JT, we're not seeing any of it right now. Look at him. Maybe for a DDT. We'll never know. Catch him with that boot. We've seen this before. Catch him with that X Factor. That face buster into the cover. Two. Tony P says two. This match probably not even five minutes old, and these guys are already busting out the heavy artillery. JT Dunn back to his feet now. Cody, Cody Rose victorious Rose in their first meeting. You know, I, I think it's very interesting that JT Dunn being announced as uh, a protege of Chris Hero, considering that this is Chris Hero's last weekend in independent wrestling. Absolutely. He's competing for Evolve Wrestling this weekend, and, uh, you know, it's going to be interesting to see if JT Dunn's going to be able to stand on his own, because he hasn't had much success in the past. There's always somebody that he's been linked to, whether it was Johnny Gargano or David Starr or the Young Bucks or most recently Chris Hero. You know, JT Dunn is in a position where it's now or never, you know. Is this going to be the JT Dunn that's going to propel, propel himself, you know, to be one of the top guys in independent wrestling? And I'll tell you, to even be though one of the top wrestlers in the WWE. I mean, something like that Cody Rhodes, some people may say, and taken for granted the fact that he's decided to give up a, a life of luxury to, uh, you know, not necessarily slum it on the indies. It's a very different world when you're competing and you're in charge of your own bookings and you have to handle all of your own travel than it was to be part of the WWE machine. So, but no, that's something that WWG, I'm um, sorry, something that JT Dunn has never had a taste of, those types of, uh, you know, luxuries. Absolutely. Competing in the WWE. But on the other hand, you're saying what he gave up. Look what JT Dunn's like, what he gave up. What luxuries, if you will, he gave up. This man has taken himself, and you have known him on a personal level for many years. Is this the best JT Dunn you've ever seen? He is focused. He's clear of anything I wish that may have been holding him back. I wish I could give you a straight answer. Was Chris Hero holding him back or helping him out? We're, we're going to find out tonight. I do believe that this, with a cover, could be three. Only two. This is the best JT done. This is the most focused. This is the most well finessed. Look, he, if he beats Cody Rhodes here tonight, you got me convinced. That's a big if. JT done. Well-versed, does not always, always well-regarded in strikes, not as well-respected for his chain wrestling, for his technical prowess. Well, this you is a piece out of right Chris Hero's there. playbook. Absolutely. This is a cravat. You want to talk about being Chris Hero's protege. That's the thing. He has learned over time, and that's the yeah, thing. But you can learn, the, you can learn the technique, but Chris Hero is six and a half feet tall, 300 pounds. JT Dunn is not, so for him to keep an opponent the size of Cody Rhodes grounded, with the cravat is not the best strategy. However, to try and beat him in a game of speed where you can cut him off with a drop kick, yeah, that's gonna be more JT Dunn's forte. That's what I'm saying, man. It's that JT Dunn needs to be more reliant on himself. The fans here in Westbrook seem to believe in JT. Does JT believe in JT? That is yet to remain to be seen. I think we'll find out tonight, DC. I hope we found out tonight. I'd love to know. Interesting hold. I mean, that's not a hold. That's straight up cheating. Straight up cheating. Just one count away from being disqualified. Imagine the largest crowd in limitless wrestling history, these people being sent home with a disqualification. I mean, that should be on the wrestler. Somebody like JT Dunn should know better than that. That's not, you know, the official's there to call the match down the middle. You can't blame him. Oh my goodness. Thunderous knee right into the face. 
We've seen Cody Rhodes. He's had problems with that face before. He's worn a, a facial appliance in the past. JT Dunn obviously has done his homework yet again on Cody Rhodes. But perhaps waiting a little too long. This is exactly where you're right, DC. This is when he's, he wants to please these fans. He wants to appease them, but he's got to stay on him. He knows who he's in the ring with. Do not lose sight of it. Cody Rhodes now hooks him up. Float over by JT. Oh, JT looking for crossroads. Looking for his own variation of crossroads. That's how you send a statement. You beat a guy with his own move. Cast him with a chop in the corner, does Cody that Rhodes. That would just be almost poetic for JT Don, who's been latched to so many people throughout his career, to beat somebody like Cody Rhodes with his own move. Again, not a JT original. Oh, oh. Yeah. Jesus, just ran right through him. JT looking for those bows. There's Cody Rhodes has a counter, and a counter for the crossroads. Cody Rhodes now rolls through against the cover. Only two. Gets a quick power slam. Cody Rhodes was able to learn from the likes of Randy Orton, spending so much time with him. Obviously, taking a page out of his book. This man's had the opportunity. You talk about Chris Hero. JT not being able to learn under Chris Hero. Think of all the people throughout his entire life, never mind just his wrestling career, that Cody Rhodes has been able to learn from well, and apply to the craft. Second, third generation wrestler, you know, in our lifetime, we'll be seeing some fourth generation wrestlers too. Yeah, I mean, you're bred for this, you know? You don't really have many other options. You're gonna be a professional wrestler. When you learn the business, you know, probably was learning things before he can even remember. That set out Powerbomb, two. Tony P says two. I'll give JT credit for that too. He was able to get the feet over the shoulder of Cody Rhodes. But again, just the size difference. Cody Rhodes is going to be. And here you go. How, how, how much more weight do you think Cody Rhodes has on him than JT? I, I didn't hear the initial announcement, but JT's probably going to be in the range of maybe like 160, 170. I did hear Cody Rhodes build at 220. 220. So, I mean, give it up. That was the time of the weigh in. We don't know how much he's carrying around now. Right. I mean, generously 50 pounds. Is, is a difference. Generous. And, and maybe six inches, too. You know, that's a big difference. That's a height difference. And, of course, the veteran card. We can play that card all day. Cody Rhodes has been in it longer. JT Dunn going up top. Cody Rhodes catches, rolls through. Oh, this is going to be the figure four. And he's got it. Textbook, textbook figure four by the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. You know, you can't say JT doesn't have a ton of heart. The kid's got a ton of heart. But even then, it's like, well, what can you say about Cody Rhodes? I mean, that's the definition of heart, to give up your entire life, to basically do things your own way. I mean, Cody's got just as much to prove as JT, as far as I'm concerned. That is cinched in deep. Not perfectly in the center, but JT Dunn does not seem to be going anywhere, moving now. And he gets it. Cody Rhodes now pushing that count, leaving it up to three. Well, Rhodes was not really uh, taking the route, wasn't in his strategy or in his playbook, I should say, to target the legs of JT Dunn, but that was an opening that he capitalized on, and we're going to see if he's going to continue to try and go after the legs, or maybe if he's going to go back to his original strategy. Oh my goodness. That is the type of move Spikes. break your neck. This could be it. Again, taking a page out of the Randy Orton playbook. Dropping JT Dunn on his head. Yeah, I don't know. I never seen Orton do it like that. That was they usually from the second rope. That was all the way from the top. Rope. Plus he had the arm hooked. JT basically limp. But is, Co is Cody gonna go back to the legs, or is he gonna? Is he gonna be looking for the crossroads? He is looking for that crossroads. JT Dunn invades it once again with some sort of a cutter. JT Dunn pushes off, rolls through, and he catches him. Catches him with that ace crusher. Rhodes over to the ropes. Still have Whoa. Very close to See, that was a better maneuver on Rhodes. Even better maneuver on JT because JT hooked the outside leg instead of the inside leg so that Cody couldn't get his leg on the bottom rope, forcing him to expend the energy to kick out. However, it's more awkward to hold your opponent down when you're going for that outside leg. That's why you see the inside leg. Hooked most frequently. <laughs> You know, that's why they call it human chest, though. Absolutely. If you're in a situation like that, you got to make the decision. Do you hook the inside leg? Do you hook the outside leg? Do you pull him away from the ropes? Talk about human chest. Right now, we're both in a stalemate. Cody Rhodes, JT oh! Dunn. 
JT Dunn goes big and comes up empty. And Dunn, D-O-N-E, throws first. Who knows if the kid can even breathe right now? I think he needs a minute, bro. I think he was looking for a flying forearm or a cross body. Cody still shaking the cobwebs. Tony P not making the count, checking on Cody Rose to make sure he's all right. JT Dunn slow to get up. I do not see him up yet. Cody could be hurt. There's something going on with Cody and Co the ref that we do not know about. And I cannot hear this dialogue. I'm not sure what is going on. If Cody can continue, well, I'd be surprised if JT can. JT can continue. He's not. Oh, there he is. JT Dunn. What in the world? Oh, wait a second. Desperate times. Oh, wait a second. Wait a minute. Well, I, I, I think that was intentional. So I've been, I'm very surprised that JT Dunn bringing out the powder. An old trick up a sleeve. Cody Rhodes, leave it crossroads. Perfect. Crossroads hit perfectly. Yeah, he spiked him, but there's nobody to make the count. Let's get another official out of here, Limitless. Come on. DC, we have seven, eight. He's got JT beat. I mean, Tony's blinded. He's not deaf. I mean, I don't know if he got knocked out from that kick. Disaster kick. This match is turning into a disaster. We're going to get order here. The biggest match in Limitless Wrestling history. I Meanwhile, we can't find a ref. It's going to be marked with an asterisk. Cody's calling for one. JT's back up to his feet. Catches him. That's a death by elbow. And a cover of his own. Here comes Stephen DeMack. Only two. A match like this, a match of this magnitude, if you have to, you gotta assign multiple officials something. JT Dunn just doesn't know what to do. He has his opponent scouted. Well, I mean, just recently he tangled with Cody Rhodes. He has to. He he's has gotta to. know that just just moments ago he was almost beaten by the cross. And he should get beaten again. He's wrestling on borrowed time oh, right now. Again. You better make the most of it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, JT answers back. Cody with one of his own. JT again, tit for tat here in late in this contest. JT with a thunderous chop, Cody returns it. Elbow and a punch. JT's on Dream Street, no, backstabber. Dead set, center right in the middle of his back. JT Dunn could be looking for a big elbow, this could be the kill shot here. Did he telegraph it? Yes. Crossroads again. Roll through. Got the legs. JT Dunn is defeating Cody Rhodes. JT Dunn is defeating Cody Rhodes here in Living on the Red It's over. Wow. JT Dunn just defeating Cody Rhodes here in Living on the Red Sox. DC, DC, what are you doing? the official decision. DC, this is absolutely not about anybody eating pro, but JT Dunn has just defeated Cody Rhodes. 